Good all. I hope you're safe and sound. As uh, per my last two lectures, I have been imparting uh, whatever knowledge I've gathered or I have as assembled or assimilated from the legitimate documents, be it the IMU brochure and also the Modus Apprendi through which the IMU works through the affiliated institutes. Now, uh, this is my uh, final lecture on the DNS for how to join the Merchant Navy. Once this part number three is completed for the DNS, which is the final one, thereafter I will be also broadcasting the lectures on how to join Merchant Navy through the B, uh, BSC Nautical Science stream. Therefore, uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin with the remaining procedure because so far, just to have a small recap, in the first one we talked about as far as the eligibility, that was the main crux of the matter, how to uh, apply for the eligibility, especially for the DNS, for the aspirants who have qualified the 12th standard in the science with the PCM and lots of other things we talked about. The second stage we talked about how to go through the IMU through the common entrance test and how to get the certificate of rank and now we will proceed thereafter which will be uh, including all the you know how to proceed once you uh, you, you, you have obtained the the certificate of rank thereafter. So, how to join Merchant Navy and then please do like, subscribe my channel on the YouTube under the banner of Marine Quest Solutions. How to join the Merchant Navy on the deck side through the DNS diploma, not, that is diploma in nautical science. The program is offered by the IMU. This is just a recap I'm giving. The program is offered by the IMU and IMU issues thereafter, once you qualify the CET, the Common Entrance Test, you will obtain the Certificate of Rank or the Rank Certificate, that is upon qualification. The IMU has its affiliated, uh, its, uh, its uh, branches in Chennai and Navi Mumbai. Now, now we come and talk about the application fee and registration, etc. So, once the candidate has obtained the rank certificate or the certificate of rank thereafter he goes on to the uh, on this site that is www.imu.edu.in that is the IMU website and that's where he starts with the registration now when we talk about the registration there is a different kind of a modus operandi for general category for OBS OBC, NCL, SCST candidates. For further details, please check the, uh, the IMU Institute site. The site, what I've just mentioned, that is on www.imu.edu.n. Now, the procedure and information for registration, that is, of course, we talked about admission is into the IMU is through the CET, Common Interest Test. The online uploading, uh, now the, the procedure how to go about it once you have logged on to this site that is www.imu.edu.in You'll have to go online, upload your photograph, you have to have self attest scan copy of 10 standard mark sheets for proof of date of birth. Now remember, 10 standard mark sheet of your will be very important even when you are going to apply for your passport as far as the legit uh, the legitimacy of your date of birth is concerned. Now, you have, I'll repeat again, online uh, uploading of your photographs, self attested sand copy of your 10th standard certificate, which will from where the proof of date of birth is ascertained. Thereafter, the scan copy of 12th standard mark sheet, scan copy of SCST, OBC, NCL, or journal, or economically weaker section whom whatever category you fall in that is as per the prescribed format you'll have to fill up the form for whatever category you fall in once you've done that then you again come on to the same site for online registration 
click on the CET that is for your verification of CET what you have obtained the, the rank certificate thereafter IMU will conduct online counseling now IMU is the only one which conducts the online counseling for the candidates who are eligible only for the admission to its six campuses now remember IMU has got six campuses IMU does the counseling for the candidates for its six campuses of course there is a fee uh, it is based on the fee uh, chargeable fee basis your you know your uh, category you cater from general or SCST or OBC whatever uh, category are you coming from but you also need to have a certificate for that particular category you are coming from <clears throat> Now, IMU will conduct the counseling and for the admission of its uh, into its six campuses. The candidate can also approach for admissions in the affiliated institutes for IMU and other DGS approved MTIs, that is the Maritime Training Institutes, after obtaining the rank certificate. After obtaining the rank certificate. Now, IMU after online counseling will allot the seat. There will be a seat allotment. Now, do not get confused between IMU and uh, uh, IMU affiliated institutes. This particular procedure, and I would think, you know, for sake of good order for all the parents, it's better if you could get your uh, ward admitted into through IMU into the IMU uh, campuses. There are six campuses because. To best of my knowledge, what I've just tried to find out from lots of various sources, that it will be cheaper and it's uh, it's, it's uh, probably hassle-free as well. So, IMU after online counselling will allow you the seat that is subject to the verification of your documents. That document be it your 10th standard certificate for <coughs> date of birth, uh, proof, and or your 12th standard mark sheet. All these things will have to be will be scrutinized by the IMU before they, they give you the allotment of the seat. <clears throat> Thereafter, one year DNS, that is Diploma in Nautical Science, is there in IMU Chennai and IMU Navi Mumbai, also in the affiliated institutes of IMU. Now the courses are offered twice a year that is the courses are offered twice a year in two batches that is the date will be published in advance please do check the IMU brochure normally it is there in the month of August and February now the few things which the candidate concerned should remember that is strongly recommended to have a passport name as per the 10th standard certificate so the candidate who is going to proceed for one year course he should he or she should have in his or her position the passport which will the passports verification will of course when you apply for it your your date of birth verification will be as per your 10th standard certificate and same thing the passport office does and same thing is to be will be done by the IMU now the fee structure for that because there may be a lot of variance subject to you know lots of conditions like we are still trying to cope up with the COVID things so things may change so that's the reason I strongly recommend all of you to please procure the brochure and check the free infrastructure when you are uh, applying for the registration and admission respectively. Now. Now the thing is, uh, you know, the, uh, for fee structure, please check the prospects of IMU and affiliated institutes also because there may be some variance uh, as far as the IMU uh, campuses and IMU affi affiliated institutes. IMU semester fee. Now just to advise you all candidates or aspirant, uh, candidates who intend to join Merchant Navy, you know, uh, the fee structure, you'll have to check it, how much it will be. But what all things it's, are included, that I will talk about it. 
IMU semester fee includes, that is the IMU semester fee I'm talking about, not the affiliated institutes. The IMU uh, semester fee includes tuition fee, that is your library fee, fee inclusive of that, uh, your workshop fee, your industrial visit fee, plus your extra co-curricular activities, if there are, which are involved in that, along with the INDOS and CDC. Now, INDOS is Indian National Merit, uh, Indian National uh, Identity, uh, which is to be provided for, uh, which is uh, to be uh, demonstrated by all the seafarers. So the INDOS and the Continuous Discharge Certificate fee is also included in the in the IMU semester fee. So just remember this thing. The other things is to are okay, you know, workshop, library fee, tuition fee, of course that is must, and industrial visit fee for whatever, you know, the practical assignments they will be giving it to you or you'll be taken uh, into the practical visits of the ship, dry docks or docks or the repair yards, whatever it is, extra co-curricular activities, plus the indoors and CDC fee is also included in the fee which is charged by the IMU. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope I've been of some help to all the aspirant entrants, newcomers who are going to pass uh, qualify the 12th standard or who have already qualified and still trying to pursue to join Merchant Navy for, as far as the DNS is concerned. I will be broadcasting lecture on BSc Nautical Science in days to come. Please keep a track on it. Do watch and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much and thanks for your support. And once again, last but not the least, I hope you're all safe. Stay safe from the Chinese Wuhan virus. Thank you. Good day.